Good morning, everybody. It is uh, June 23rd, Thursday. We're still in Napa, and we are about uh, to get on the bus and head up to Santa Rosa, uh, which will be a pretty quick trip. We got a long trip after the show tonight uh, up to, I think, Bend, Oregon. But um, this will be a nice, nice, quickie uh, drive today, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, had a great, great show last night in Napa at the winery up here. Uh, it was just everything just felt it was a beautiful evening. There, it, you, you do some of these gigs up here and it can either be really hot or really cold. Um, but it was, as Goldilocks would say, this one was just right. And uh, so we, uh, we had a great time. And uh, we're off and running. Things are really starting to really settle in. It's really, really great. I love it. I'm just digging it. In my proximity on stage, is, it's like best it's ever been. I'm sitting on a riser right between Russ Kunkel and Jim Cox. So uh, needless to say, I'm a happy camper in there. But uh, I thought I'd throw a little music in before running, and somebody who I dearly miss um, is Daryl Sturmer. I mean, we spent so many years with Phil Collins, and he's one of my favorite guitarists um, I've ever worked with. And a uh, Milwaukee boy, I, I talked about it in the past, how we met um, in the elevator um, in London, uh, both heading to... Uh, at the Royal Garden Hotel, heading to a townhouse studios to do No Jacket Required. And that was, we met in the elevator there. And by the time we got off the elevator, we were fast friends and it's been that way ever since. Um, so um, I've done a couple albums with Daryl and I featured tracks from these before. I'm gonna go back and do a couple more songs from Live and Learn, which is an album that we did in 1998. It's Brad Cole playing keyboards I believe it was still Mark Torrell playing drums on this. Um, I can't, I'm looking, you know, I look through all these things and I no credits at all. You know, it's like, come on, give me a break once in a while on this stuff. It'd be nice to have some information. But um, I'm going to go ahead and just play a couple of tracks here because it's just, it's first off, it's great. It's great instrumental music. And, uh, and there's times where I just, it's really nice just to hear great playing and not think about lyrical stories and all that, but just people playing at the top of their game. Um, so the first one I'm going to play is called Icarus Banjo. And uh, it's, uh, it's, it's uh, something for you to listen to. Okay, I won't, I won't talk anymore. Shut up. Uh, let's just listen to some, some music. Oh, and it was great yesterday. Um, the, uh, uh, the hard part of being on the road is I'm really missing our, my clubhouse, uh, the YouTube channel Clubhouse. And it was, it was so much fun just to have a moment to jump in there yesterday because they've taken it on themselves. They said, lose the old man, let's have some fun. So they got rid of me, but I snuck in the back door yesterday and uh, they were doing a, a, a clubhouse Zoom. And it's just, it's really cool. And the thing that's so, so good about that is suddenly you hear voices, you see faces, and you know who you're dealing with when you see names come up then. And uh, it, it's really great. So. Um, that was great, and I love you guys for, for taking the incentive to, to move on with this. And then tomorrow we've got a, a early morning. Russ and I will get together. We have band Zoom, so he and I are going to get together for that because there's a bunch of stuff going on with the group that we've uh, got to start lining up and taking care of. So it's all lots of good things happening. Uh, I, I cannot complain. The only, the only complaint really is just being gone from home for a long time. But... Uh, Gotta work, gotta do what we do. So here we are, Icarus Banjo.
such a good player. He's such a crazy good player. Jesus. Uh, let me see what else we got here. Uh, here's a song called Morning Train.
the thing I love about Daryl is there's a lot of chops monsters out of shredders out there that they got tons of facility on their instruments, but they really don't compose. They don't have great songs, great hooks. You know, it's just basically dig my playing. And uh, Daryl really is such a gifted kind of musical lyricist. Um, so his stuff really has stories to tell, even though there's no lyric. And, and his song, as he's proven in the past, he sent some of these off to Phil Collins and Phil put words to him and they became great pop records. So um, I think I'm just going to leave it at the two. I've got a lot to get ready here and get ready to hit the road again. Um, maybe I'll v visit a couple more tunes of his tomorrow. I, I, I love listening to him play. And I'll tell you, all the years I've had on stage uh, standing next to him playing has have been pure joy. He's such a ridiculously fine musician and such a, just a great guy. Uh, I really adore him and his family. They are really some special people. So uh, I'm going to wish everybody a, a, a great day. We're going to have a fun show again tonight. I'm really excited about this. have people I know coming to this one. I won't be able to see them. We're still locked down in there. We've got uh, being very cautious about not doing anything that can jeopardize the tour with COVID. So we are, um, you know, we are pretty pretty much kind of uh, in, in like a touring quarantine. Um, but whatever it takes to make the music and make people happy and, uh, and, and finish it. You know, we got, we've got months ahead of us, so um, we don't want to blow it now. Uh, so take good care. All my best wishes to everybody. And uh, I will be back tomorrow. And, uh, and thank you all for everything, uh, for being here. And uh, we'll talk soon. Okay, I gotta go. I got things to do, places to be. No, just I don't know what they are yet. So.